Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Saturday, April 20, 2013. Taking a little bit of a break from the uh, electromagnetic lens mitigation project to give you an update on the Crossman 760 modification that I made. It's uh, turned out to be one of my more popular videos and I've been getting a lot of questions lately, people begging me to actually measure the uh, feet per second at the muzzle velocity of the uh, of the modified air rifle and I really thought I had no way of providing that information until one of my YouTube subscribers suggested a app for the Android phone called ChronoConnect and I downloaded it and sure enough gets a lot of good reviews so today we're going to give that a try um, this is the this is the rifle that's been modified Okay, you'll recognize this from video number 311. And if you have not seen the modifications on the, uh, on the air rifle in that video, it's about 30 minutes long, but uh, it's worth the watch, I, I think, if you're into air rifles. And uh, I, I did this just as a revival of some of my childhood experiences and my, my, uh, some of the fun that I had in my youth, but uh, turned out to be a pretty fun project. So uh, what I've constructed is a uh, target made out of a piece of metal that's going to make a very nice loud ring once my projectile hits it and deflect it downward towards the, uh, the little rag that you see on the base. I've taken and measured out all of my distances that the uh, Chrono Connect app will monitor in inches with this 100 foot tape measure and uh, it is measured out to the inch so hopefully we'll get very accurate readings and uh, I've uh, set up the um, the stand for the uh, the Android phone itself and measured its relationship to the barrel and uh, to the flight path of the target or to the flight path of the projectile over the over the uh, Android device all of which is necessary to accurately calculate the the speed of the projectile based on the sound emitted once the uh, once the gun fires and once it hears the ring and it, when it hits the target at the opposite end all of those calculations are made with the taking into account the speed of sound and all of that all of that and uh, let's see how it works okay just so you know i'm using a green weight of five grains for the bb's these are 177.177 BBs and a ballistic coefficient of 0 0.012. Uh, it should be monitoring. Yep, it says it's monitoring. So let's see what we get here. First reading, 768 feet per second. Helps to put a BB in the chamber. Okay, um, I'm getting about 750 feet per second, and I'm only using a range of 10 yards. The recommended range is 20 yards. So I'm going to go ahead and take the target and move it further back and see what happens. Double check my 
measurements downrange. Make sure I have the right measurements there. That's exactly 36 inches right there. And looks like I'm going to have about close to 18 inches vertical height projectile path to the Android device. So I want to make sure to enter all of those numbers correctly. Yeah. Did I pump it or didn't I? I don't think so. Definitely not. And it's not picking up any of my shots here. Hmm. The application has stopped working. I think it gave me my maximum three readings and then said, okay, you're done. Now you need to buy the full version. But you know what? I'm just gonna go back in and clear the cache out. Okay, I've cleared the cleared the application data. I think what I'll do is I'll turn this microphone to face the target, make sure it can hear it well enough. And it is not picking up the target. Gonna try one more time. application has stopped working okay so based on a 10 yard range uh, I got a, an average of about 750 feet per second I don't know how accurate that is I would have liked to have run this test at 20 yards I guess the app is not as good as it's uh, cracked up to be. But uh, anyway, about 750 feet per second, I'm going to say. Um, yeah, something of a disappointment. Oh, well, what are you going to do? So that's it for my muzzle velocity test today. If anybody has any suggestions as to how I might get the Chrono Connect application to work a little better than it did for me today, I'd be willing to uh, take your suggestions and perhaps run the muzzle velocity test again. But uh, for now, that concludes this test, and I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, peace, everyone.